was was Raila Amolo Odinga that is the chairman or uh, the so known as Baba prepared to become the chairman of uh, the next chairman of African Union or it is something that the Kenyan government being led by the by his excellency uh, Dr William Samoy Ruto surprised him with it simply because they wanted him out of Kenya Welcome back to Vana Media. My name is Bonfesso Wino and as usual I'm going to be your host for today. Today there have been a, a, a joint press briefing on the Raila Amolo Odinga's candidature to become the chairman to, to become the next chairman of African Union. And there is something that Raila Amolo, the Raila have said that have really surprised me. I was listening to it and uh, you know it is it is surprised it, it surprised me when Raila said that uh, you, okay, we, we all know very well that uh, you can't you can't vie for the African Union chairman. You can't you, you can't be a candidate a candidate of African Union, or maybe you want to become the chairman of African Union uh, if you are not sponsored or if, if you are not maybe if you are not sponsored by your government. So today during the briefing there is something that Raila said. Raila said very well that uh, he was shocked that uh, the Kenyan government supported his candidature. He, he expected them to say no, or he didn't expect them to. To accept him or to accept his candidature to become the chairman of African Union? No, I mean, uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Kenyan, and as I mentioned, nobody has asked me. The, the Kenyan government did not ask me. I made a decision myself that I want to offer myself to serve the continent. And uh, as you know, you cannot run for this position without being sponsored by your, 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 your country. Your candidature is not valid until your country has said yes. So I was myself pleased and surprised that the government said they would support me. I was expecting them to say no. I don't know the reason why they said yes. <laughs> that is their own decision, it's not mine. <laughs> I, I will I will tell you why we said yes. We said yes because Raila is competent. Yes. And we are looking at Kenya's national interests and Africa's national interests. So this is not about our local issues. And we do not want and we really want to get the fourth estate to help us to project the national interest of Kenya because it would be a fast for Kenya. And it would be an opportunity for Kenya to offer leadership to the African Union. And Raila Amolo Odinga has the, got the requisite experience. As I said in another forum, he has seen both hot and cold. And Africa is beaming with both hot and cold. And Raila is required on the African continent. So that, that is something that left me with a lot of questions. That... Okay, even listening to, to the answer of Musale Mudavadi, that is the, mini, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Musale Mudavadi is saying that uh, we're so competent, you, we, we need a competent person and you are, you are the most competent person to vie for this. Okay, of course we know very well that Raila is competent and he can do his work in, in the African Union. But why is it that the Kenyan government just, just pushed Raila to, become the, to, to vie for this post? Considering the fact that a lot of things are happening in this country that suppose Raila Molodinga was not maybe planning to become the chairman of African Union, I think he could have talked about them. But right now he cannot talk about them because he's concentrating too much on the things that are going to happen outside. And I told you in this, in this, on this platform that uh, if you want to become the chairman of African Union or if you want to be the chairman of, of the union, yeah, there are a lot of things that you have to avoid. You have to avoid engaging yourself into your in your own country's politics because the, it can be used as one of the hindrance during the, the swearing in or maybe during the election but there is a big problem here 
truth be told, there is a very big problem. Even though Raila Muludinga is working so hard to become the chairman of the next chairman of African Union, and he thinks that William Samoe Ruto is supporting and the Kenyan government is supporting, there is a big problem. The problem is that the African Union consists of 50, almost 54, 50, let, me call, let me call it 54 counties, countries in Africa. All these countries uh, make, make the African Union, the AU. And all these countries are being led by the, by the presidents, by, by, the, by, by, by different states, not only one, not only one state. But what William Ruto right now is doing, the people are complaining, more so the, the, West, the, the, the West countries. The West countries are complaining, countries from the West are complaining that William Samoy Ruto is selling Africa. To the, to the to the United to the third world country or the United States, even though William Ruto when they go outside he pretends that how comes that uh, one count one 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 superpower country or one country can summon all the fifty four or all the forty seven presidents to come and meet with the vision that we have made as AU is that going forward, if there is going to be a discussion between Africa and any other country we are going to be represented by the chair, the outgoing chair, the, income, the bureau, let us... Let Chairs us the commission and, and the chair. And, and, uh, and, and the chair of the RECs, and we have five RECs. Oh. That should be sufficient okay. for, I mean, a meeting of uh, maybe six, seven, maybe six, seven. Yeah. That should be able to represent Africa. And that is the position I am taking as the president of Kenya. For any other meeting, that we are going to have with all these uh, requests that we have uh, a meeting between Africa and one other country. We respect the sovereignty of others. I think to ask for, to be, for uh, reciprocation is not to ask for too much. No. And for us to agree that let us have this kind of uh, setup. The only, um, uh, because I had a conversation with President Kagame and he, he actually led that particular position. I have had a conversation with Prime Minister Abi. He believes very strongly that that should be the position mm. of, of our continent. Because, as you have said, if we, didn't, if we don't respect ourselves, nobody is going to respect us. And, and we should be able to take that kind of decision. Yeah. And part of that uh, respecting ourselves is when we say African problems, African solutions. We, we must be serious about the solutions. It cannot be rhetoric. It cannot be talk. It must be accompanied by what realistically... Him here. And that is something that it normally happens. Like, right now they're in Korea. All the presidents within Africa went to Korea. So only just one, just one, one call and all, of the, all the African presidents travel abroad. Simply because they want help. So some of the presidents are saying that uh, William Samoyu to the president, of Afri or the president of Kenya is trying to sell Africa to the outside to the outside continent like how comes how comes you allow this issue of lgbtq in kenya simply because you want help and i told you that for this country for these superpower countries to support you if any country of any government wants these superpower countries to support you they have only two organizations are supposed to, to give you money that is the world bank organization and the imf and these are the, these are couple, kind of things that you know, they are, they, I told you that there are conditions. Okay, the condition is, for us to support you, there must be one, two, three things that must be done. For us to support you as Kenyans, you have, so, you have to accept that LGBTQ must be applied in Kenya. S but now being that Kenyans, we need help, we need that money, we need, that, we need the sponsorship, we need that loan, to, that, that loan to come and maybe build our, to, to increase our infrastructure, we'll have to accept. So these are the kind of things that these Afri other, other countries in Africa are complaining about with, the, with, the, with, the, with the William Ruto. They have got no problem with Raila Mulodinga, but their problem is with William Ruto. So my biggest, my, my biggest question has been, has been this. Can these behaviors of William Ruto prevent Raila Mulodinga to become the next chairman of African Union? Inasmuch as he has been campaigning for, for Raila Mulodinga, but now his behaviors, his behaviors contradicts what he's been, he's been campaigning for. So my question is, will 
the behaviors of William Samoy Ruto prevent Raila Mulunga from becoming the chairman, the next chairman of African Union, even after declaring that he's going to support Raila Mulunga and is supporting him until the end. I don't know what to think. May I? Can I? May, I would like to listen to, to hear your comment in the comment section. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're meeting for the first time, you can tell me which county are you watching us from or which country are you watching us from. If you're not within the country, and until you meet again, I've been your host, One Face Winner. Bye bye.